Greetings Bucket Pond family. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have some tips and tricks for you uh, for raising detritus worms in a jar aquarium. To be more specific, I am talking about the small white worms drifting throughout the water column. The larger, more active worms that you see there at the top. Uh, those are a wild variety of tubiflex and they are a lot of fun. They are very easy to care for, uh, but they are simply tank mates here. Uh, they are not the main star of the video. We are focused on these small white worms that you see drifting throughout the water. So uh, a little background. The term detritus worm can refer to a great deal of different species. And uh, they are all related, but they are different. Detritus worms are commonly found in almost every aquarium. And they are not anything to worry about. They are not parasitic. They cannot hurt you. They cannot harm you. They cannot harm humans. Or uh, they cannot harm fish. So these guys are fine. If you have them in your tank, do not freak out. Do not worry. And now for the big question of why would you want to raise detritus worms intentionally. Uh, number one, they, they make for a great live fish food. Especially for fry and for guppies, small fish. Uh, these small white detritus worms... They have no ability to defend themselves. They cannot swim very quickly. They cannot escape predators. Uh, so this makes them ideal as a live fish food. Uh, another reason that you would want to raise detritus worms intentionally is their ability to handle mulm in the aquarium. These small white worms can destroy a mulm layer. Uh, they will actively consume any kind of dirt or debris, extra fish food, or anything laying around in the tank these worms will have at it. They will destroy it. I've used these worms to uh, reduce the mulm layers in some of my old aquariums, and they do a very good job at that, assuming a few of them can survive as the fish will actively consume them. So these worms are beneficial in that way. They can be very useful, and they also carry a very, very small bio load. You can see from the amount of worms that we have in this aquarium, the uh, bio load is very low, and uh, it's very easy to maintain a healthy water quality with these worms inside the tank. So now on to the tips and tricks for raising these worms. Uh, number one, they enjoy clean water. Yes, as opposed to what you read on the internet, uh, these worms enjoy a very clean water. Uh, they like very low ammonia levels. They like very low nitrite and very low nitrates as well. So you want clean water and uh, you want to maintain uh, water parameters very similar to most fish. You want a 7.0 pH, anywhere around 7 is good. Um, low ammonia, low nitrites, low nitrates. And uh, it's very simple, just to provide clean water for them. For tip number two, uh, they enjoy a well-established aquarium. <clears throat> and I believe that has to do with the bacteria layer. Uh, once you get a strong nitrogen cycle running in the tank, these worms can do very well. They seem to take much better to an established tank. Uh, when I've added them to a brand new clean jar, uh, they almost always fail. So uh, you want to run a well-established aquarium. You might even want to build your tank and let it sit for uh, at least a few weeks before trying to raise your worms inside. Now for tip number three, I would suggest a planted aquarium. These worms do very well in planted jars. In nano aquariums, uh, planted tanks, however you want to say it, it's a small aquarium with plants inside. Now you can use uh, macroalgae, like my Nutella macroalgae, that does really well with these worms. You can also use emergent plants, like uh, Wedelia or Dayflower. And you can use uh, submerged plants, like e, uh, baby tears that you'll see in this video. So yes, these worms enjoy planted tanks. For tip number four, we're going to talk about the temperature of the water. The worms enjoy a temperature of about 70 degrees. Uh, a little colder or a little warmer is fine. But again, these worms are very vulnerable, and I do not think that they have the ability to regulate their temperature. So if it gets too hot or too cold, they will die off. So keep your tank about 70 degrees, and you'll have the ideal temperature for these worms. For tip number five, we're going to talk about uh, substrate. The worms in this uh, situation here, the small white detritus worms, uh, they do not seem to mind the different substrates. Some detritus worm varieties will burrow into the substrate, uh, but these worms, they are, you know, known to drift throughout the water column. So they don't care much about the substrate. You can use gravel, you can use sand, or you can use the Wallstad method to ensure that your plants do well. Any one of these options will work fine. Any substrate's good as long as it's generally water safe and uh, something that you would use in an aquarium. 
So that's about it for our tips and tricks section here. They like a well-established, long-running aquarium that has a lot of plants inside. They enjoy a water temperature of about 70 degrees. They enjoy a pH of about 7 uh, with very low ammonia, low nitrites, and low nitrates. If you can combine all of these in a nice jar aquarium, you will end up with a healthy uh, situation for your detritus worms to thrive in. So if you uh, don't succeed the first time, try and try again, and eventually you'll have worms just like this, and uh, thousands and thousands of them, and they're a lot of fun. So uh, don't give up. Keep trying. There are no care sheets out there. No one can help you. There are no internet experts about raising these worms. So I am attempting to become that internet expert. I want to help you with raising these little guys. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I want to be the source of information for others that would like to raise these worms like I do. So that's it, guys. Uh, this is Bucket Ponds. My name is Terry, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Check out my content for more. There's tons of stuff on my channel. I have several uh, playlists. I have several uh, video series. I have tons of videos about other pets, ecospheres, ponds, aquariums, all sorts of stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope that your worms do well. I hope that you had a great time with the video. I hope I taught you some things. And if you do succeed with raising these, uh, this particular variety of worm, uh, please hit me up in the comments. Let me know. And uh, yeah, I just love to hear from you guys. So have a great day. I hope your worms do well, and I will see you next time. I make weekly videos, and there's always more to watch.